Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Welcome to your recap of your 2020 New Hampshire presidential primary election results. If you did not watch the results come in last night, we're going to recap you if you missed all the results from last night. So, um, I watched the election results come in and, um, did some election coverage as well. And I also took down some notes and things while I was watching it last night. So, let's get you all perfectly squared away so you know what is happening now. So, we can tell you, on the Republican side, Trump wins Republican New Hampshire primary. Challenger Weld gets 9% of vote. On the Democratic side, Sanders wins New Hampshire Democratic primary. Buttigieg finishes close, second followed by Colin Bulcher. Pete Buttigieg gives remarks on primary night. Buttigieg says he's thrilled by campaign energy and believes his campaign's message is connecting with voters. Amy Colin Bulcher's speech on New Hampshire primary night. Amy Cullen Bulger addressed her supporters in New Hampshire Tuesday night after a strong performance in the Democratic primary race. Bloomberg launches presidential campaign operation in New Hampshire. Michael Bloomberg did not campaign in New Hampshire for first in the nation primary and did not even place his name on the ballot. But with the dust barrel settled and scattered from Tuesday's primary, WMUR has learned the former New York City mayor is mounting a full flagged general election campaign in the Granite State. Bloomberg with his unlimited financial resources will help Democrats up and down the New Hampshire ballot through the fall. He is making a significant investment through November in ensuring the state remains blue. In 2020, his campaign said in an announcement shared with WMUR leading his team in the state will be two top operatives. Liz Prouty of MEP Strategy, a senior advisor, and Ryan Mahoney, former chief of staff to Manchester Mayor Joyce Craig and New Hampshire House Speaker Steve Shirtlaw in is the state director. His campaign said it has initial plans to hire nearly a dozen staffers and will open its first office in Concord within the coming weeks. Andrew Yang suspends presidential campaign. Democrat first joined the race in 2018. Democratic Andrew Yang is suspending his campaign Yang, a 45-year-old entrepreneur, is ending his bid for president after entering the race in the spring of 2018. Yang, whose campaign slogan with the acronym MATH for Make America Think Harder, campaigned on behalf the federal government should provide all American adults with universal basic income. 
Earlier in the day, Yang said he wouldn't rule out a run for president in 2024 if his 2020 bid falls short. Democratic Michael Bennett drops out of the presidential race. Bennett vows to support 2020 Democratic presidential nominee. Democratic Michael Bennett has dropped out of the race for president. The announcement came as a primary result continued to roll in Tuesday night. The 54-year-old is a U.S. Senator from Colorado. Bennett said he won't endorse a candidate soon, saying I'll reflect on that in the future. Bennett did comment to endorsing whoever the Democrat presidential nominee will be. A campaign staffer said Bennett has told his supporters that New Hampshire may not have seen the last of him. And some notes that I took. Donald Trump votes 8,215 in vote 82.65% the winner for the Republican primary. Andrew Yang is suspending his campaign. Michael Bennett is ending his campaign. Joe Biden and Senator Warren will not reach the 15% threshold statewide. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard moving on to South Carolina. Joe Biden speaking live from South Carolina. He left New Hampshire before results started coming in. Vote 7,810 and vote 8.3%. Amy Cullen Bulcher speaking right now. Cullen Bulcher is in third place. Votes 21,956 and vote 19.92%. Amy and Pete battle for second place, but Amy Columbulcher, we can tell you, is in third place. Tom Steyer, who left New Hampshire early on Sunday, days before primary voting, Tom Steyer came in with the following results. Votes 4,683 and vote 3.52%. Tom Steyer is doing a town hall in Reno, Nevada. That was last night. Results for Deval Patrick. Votes 555 and vote 0.4%. Not going anywhere, he is saying. Bill Will. Results. Votes 7,789 and vote 9.06%. He said, I will stay in the race at least until Super Tuesday. Pete Buttigieg, speaking now, votes 53,442 and votes 24.13% wins second place in New Hampshire. Bernie Sanders projected to win New Hampshire first place, votes 58 1737 and vote 26.19%. For the results for the Democratic primary, in first place is Bernie Sanders, second place Pete Buttigieg, third place Amy Cullen Bulger, fourth place Elizabeth Warren, fifth place Joe Biden, Tom Steyer, sixth place, seventh place Chelsea Gabbard, and eighth place Deval Patrick, Andrew Yang, and Michael Bennett, and campaign. For GOP primary, Donald Trump is in first place, in second place, Bill Weld. And that is a recap of your 2020 New Hampshire presidential primary election results right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. That's it for my morning news report. I'll see you back here later on today with more news reports. Goodbye, everyone.